Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is like the third video I am filming today. So you're gonna see me wearing the same pink sweater probably back to back to back. Just know I'm filming the, I'm, I'm filming three videos in one day. Look how productive I am. To be honest, I just wanna get these figures out of their boxes so I can display them. Today we are unboxing the Bungo Stray Dogs Dazai uh, dead apple figure. Anyways, I cannot wait to unbox this one because I already have the Chuya one. He is down here on my shelf and I absolutely fell in love with the Chuya one and I am so excited to see what the Dazai one looks and you know, I always love like getting the other half of a figure and putting them together and seeing them as a whole and I, I oh, chef's kiss okay here we go please make sure you like and subscribe let me know what you think at the end of the video and follow me on instagram to see fig pictures of these figures okay so right up top uh is the base is what i'm guessing okay so i'm supposed to peel this off um okay so i'm gonna peel this off really quick give me one second to do that because it's gonna be a little hard with these acrylics on so i will be right back okay so there's protective film on both sides of the base um i just took it off the top for now because i don't know if i want to remove it from the bottom just yet i mean if i want to in the future i can always decide that but once i take it off i i can't really put it back on just because it rips in pieces it doesn't like if you can see the top does not rip in one piece so I don't want to ruin it right now I will tell you why when I share my thoughts um, about the space just because I do have thoughts um, already but for the sake of moving uh, moving this along let's continue this is where um, this is this is the website that this figure is from okay so he comes with instructions okay so i found his little coat arms so we're gonna put these on the side until we get there there's this little baggie and it looks like it has his arms and then it has uh the apple and some like gems and these gems are part of the dead apple series i i think they have like um ability users abilities in them or something like that i can't remember honestly i've watched this movie like probably three times now and i cannot i cannot tell you the plot whatsoever okay so this is how half of the apple looks okay and then it comes with a whole apple as well just like uh the chia one had and then it comes with three of these uh gems there's this which i think would be the back piece to dazai's coat then we got his head oh yeah i completely forgot this was uh mafia dazai mafia dazai in the dead apple movie shows up in like the very beginning which is so weird because it's mafia dazai but then it's the chuya one is does not look like um like 15 or 16 year old chuya all right it looks like there's this huge like effect swoopy thing that it comes with wow try not to break that one. Oh my god there's not just one swoopy thing there's two that you can possibly break. They've both got like little gems attached to them as well. Okay, I found his body. Here is his body. So now that we have the body, let me go ahead and attach his arms. Okay, we let's attach his head too. Um, hold on, there's no way I did this right. Y'all, hold on. I really hope I put this in wrong because I have some comments. Got his head on. I'm holding my comments back, y'all. Your thoughts are your thoughts. Um, I'm holding my comments back until he's completely assembled. Y'all, does this look right to you? <laughs> what is going I'm so confused. This is scaring me. I don't know. This is so... Save your thoughts. 
Save your thoughts till the end, girl. Okay. Okay, so you can have a gem standing up like that. You can have a gem like leaning like that. I don't even know if this is showing right on here, but, or you can have, what is this then? I think this is just standing up as well. I think these two that are standing up, you can place on top of here if you want, if you choose to. I want him holding an apple. Oh, you can have the apple on the ground too, I guess. Okay, y'all, so I had to cut the video because this was so confusing. The instructions actually didn't help me. I had to go look at the prototype photo and see how that was set up to see where everything is supposed to go. So, or at least like these swirly things are supposed to go. So I did end up removing the um, bottom of the film, protective film, just because I ended up just thinking that it looked very ugly altogether being since you can see it through the clear acrylic so I was like eh whatever um so I did remove it I think it does look much better I hope you guys can read my mind right about now on my thoughts on this figure this is the end result first things first I'm just gonna go out and say it not as good as Chuya's I don't know what it is with these companies screwing Dazai over dude like what is it okay stability wise this thing swings like a mf -er, okay look how unstable this is first of all dude's twirling like a ballerina oh okay i almost broke it okay and he wobbles there's only one peg on him and that's on uh his left foot these swirly swoopy things also moves way too much and they're very flimsy. The reason why I was very hesitant when I put his head back on is because I was hoping I put it on wrong because he's got a long ass neck. Maybe you can't tell from this angle, but from where I was looking at it, his neck looked pretty long. Um, I guess with his coat, it's not as noticeable. So we're keeping the coat on. Next up is the base. Y'all, this base, okay a few things about this base. Insanely huge. And I understand the reason why it's that big is because of those big swoopy things. I don't think, here's the thing. This is technically supposed to be paired with the Chuya one. The Chuya one has a small black base and Chuya doesn't come with these like swoopy things which is fine because that's not like part of his ability. I think this these swoopy things are Dazai's ability, I want to assume. So it's it, it's fine, but God, I, I feel like I have so much to say about this damn vase that like, I don't even know where to start. Okay, let's say this was taken from the scene in Dead Apple uh, where Dazai and Chuya teamed up to go fight Shibusawa. Dazai never used his ability in that scene. The only time he would have used his ability was when he was um, he was turning Chuya's off, which Chuya's figure doesn't have any ability effect on it, on his figure. So why Dazai does is beyond me. Dazai's base is clear acrylic. Chuya's is this very nice, clean, basic black. And I much prefer Chuya's. If Dazai's had Chuya's base as well, I think it would have looked much better and came together much better, um, especially because Dazai's wearing all black and so is Chuya, and it would just match the entire outfit and the entire vibe better. And again, I know these, like with the size of the base, I know these swoopy thingies are optional, but they're just, they're, I feel like they're also unnecessary. Like this figure would have looked fine without them. Now you can't display Chuya and Dazai that close next to each other here as well. And it's like, these are supposed to sit together. Now they're going to be like forced apart by this huge base. Oh, it's just so disappointing. I'm so disappointed. Other than that, like the art and the concept is very and even the shading is awesome. Style of this is, is great as well. I know like with the Chuya one, when I unboxed it, I mentioned how usually I'm picky and I really want the figure to look like the character in the anime or in the manga, wherever it's based off of. But I feel like this is kind of like a mix of both. And I actually, this was kind of an exception to me and I really like it. So I'm gonna try to display it together and show you guys and you guys let me know what you think because I, I don't know. 
it's also again it's also weird that it's like 16 year old Dazai and then 22 year old Chia which again like they look great so I don't you know I don't mind it that much but it's also like so weird and random um I know though these were based off of garage kit okay so looking at them displayed together that's the only thing going through my head is it's such a shame they cannot be closer together and that the base is sticks out so much i had to put these guys to show you how they look together on a completely separate shelf because Daz eyes took so much space so yeah that was the Bungo Stray Dogs 1 7th scale, I think it was, pre-painted uh, Dazai Dead Apple Garage Kit. This, I mean, the figure is very beautiful, do not get me wrong. Very beautifully painted, he like looks very well with Chuya, um, artistically speaking, not, not including the base. So I feel like this subtle thing, like with the base, it could have like turned this figure completely around don't know why they like even if they chose a big base why would you choose a clear a clear why would, anyways <laughs> i do love the figure a lot but not as much as chuya's dazai just seems to have this curse he, he he's taken l after l i don't know what it is so hopefully he gets his win soon because I love Dazai and he deserves better. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below. Um, and I will see you in the next one, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. I think I'm done filming videos for today because I just filmed three in a row. So I will see you in the next one, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye, guys.